And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Pectinodon, which, as you know, appears in episode 5 of Prehistoric Planet Season 2. It was a troodontid that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Wyoming in the Lance Formation. It probably looked bird-like with feathers and long legs, and being a troodontid, it would have had the sickle claws on the second toes. But we only know this dinosaur from its teeth. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I mean... Troodontids are like that, I guess. <laughs> I guess so. I'll say so far. You never know what fossils might come up later. As a troodontid, it may have had good vision and it may have gone after small prey. The type and only species is Pectinodon baccarai. The genus name means comb tooth and it refers to those comb like serrations on the teeth. And the species name is in honor of Bob Bakker. It was described in 1982 by Kenneth Carpenter. He named it in a paper about baby dinosaurs from the Lance and Hell Creek formations. And he studied 11 taxa from nine localities based on small teeth and parts of the skulls that were found by screen washing, which is underwater washing and screening. Like panning for gold, kind of. Yeah, but panning for baby (laughs) dinosaur teeth and parts of skulls. I would be so much more excited finding a baby dinosaur tooth than a little flake of gold. (laughs) (laughs) So this... Study helped show that baby dinosaurs weren't as rare as paleontologists previously thought. The holotype of pectinodon is a tooth, and then the paratypes and the referred specimens are also teeth. He found, quote, crowns of teeth strongly compressed laterally and recurved. So curved, pretty flat, and serrated. Yep. Pectinodon was described as an apparently small species weighing under 220 pounds or 100 kilograms. The holotype, it's a tooth, but it's an adult tooth. It's the largest tooth. It's 6.2 millimeters long and 3.7 millimeters wide. If you want that in inches, that's about 0.2 inches by 0.1 inches. (laughs) Very small. Yes. (laughs) I think, I feel like the one in prehistoric planet too, they made a little bit bigger. Yes. Oh, maybe. And the paratypes, the teeth are small and probably come from baby pectinodon, but the other referred teeth are from adults. The teeth look similar to Sorornithoides inequalis, which was previously referred to Troodon formosus and Sorornithoides jr. He said that the teeth look similar to Velociraptor teeth, but some slight differences in the serrations. And pectinodon has been considered to be synonymous with Troodon formosus, but in 1991, George Olszewski found it to be its own species, Troodon Baccarai. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> Troodon formosus, also just teeth. So, depending on how similar those teeth are, could get lumped together. Yes. In 2011, Lindsay Zano and others analyzed how Troodontids were classified and found all the specimens assigned to Troodon formosus were probably different species and agreed that Pectinodon baccarai was valid. In 2008, Longridge also found Pectinodon to be valid. And in 2013, Phil Curry and Derek Larson found pectinodon to be valid and said the teeth could be found in both the Lance Formation and Hell Creek Formation. So a lot of people think, yes, this is a valid dinosaur. (laughs) That's good. I wish there was more than just teeth, but... There are other teeth from Dinosaur Park Formation referred to (laughs) pectinodon. Oh, good. More teeth. It's a CF. It's hard to classify specifically. And then in 1985... Lev Nesov named a second species, Pectinodon asia americanus, based on a tooth found in Uzbekistan, but that one's considered to be a nomodubium. Yeah, that tooth, not good <laughs> enough. The other teeth, plenty good. <laughs> For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left. 